Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in conversion rate optimization, we will discuss about devices and cookies. What cookies are all about, how cookies work and why cookies are important in conversion rate optimization. Let's get started with it. What are devices and cookies in the first place? Also called as browser tracking cookies, they are small encrypted files located in the browser. If you want to access a particular website or a landing page, what you do is you open the browser and you type the URL. Once the URL is typed, the browser directory actually picks up the URL and stores it in the browser of your system. And that is actually an encrypted file. That encrypted file is stored on your system. They are also called as browser and tracking cookies. They track the user behavior from the browser across devices. With whatever the devices that you are using, the user behavior is tracked on by, by the encrypted file that is downloaded on your system. Cookies also used by website to run ads and widgets. The user behavior is tracked because the cookies are installed in your system and they are also being used by third party companies who are running ads and these cookies actually help those companies and accessing the user behavior and the trends the user is actually taking place in terms of the system they are using because the, there is an encrypted file on the system. How actually they work? When a person visits a website, cookie is downloaded into the system. The cookie is downloaded in the system. You might have seen when a part browse a particular website, the, the browser actually shows the website for you, but in the bottom or in the top, the company may display a particular message. We use cookies to improve your user experience. You can enable, you can disable it. When you enable it, the download, the file will be downloaded. The encrypted file will be downloaded. But when you disable, you do not want cookies to be installed in the system. It will not be installed on your system. It is used to track the user behavior. Most of the e-commerce companies or companies or products who are selling products online, they use this use cookies to ensure that you know they can track the user behavior cookies customize user experience a particular per customer has access a particular website the user behavior is accessed by that particular customer the next time they come so that they can provide them the personalized information personal experience so that they can improve the conversion rates Cookies involve privacy settings enable and disable. Extremely important part as far as the privacy of the customer is concerned. When you have a website, you have cookies you want to be installed, you have to give a very clear message to the user that we use cookies to track your user behavior to improve your experience. You can enable it or disable it. If you enable it, the cookies will be installed. If you disable it, they will not be installed. And what actually are the types of cookies that you can there are three types of cookies available for you one is called the session cookies temporary files used by the e-commerce sites when you have e-commerce sites you go to the home page you select a particular product and that the what particular product is taken to the shopping cart that is actually a temporary cookie because when you go back to the same page again there is a possibility that you know you will find that particular product and a shopping cart which is a temporary shop temporary cookie which is stored and it can be declosed when actually you close the browser and the cookies will not be stored in your system as soon as you close your browser. Permanent cookies, the store login details as per law they need to be deleted in 6 months. There are some permanent cookies. When actually you go to a particular website or any particular landing page or where the logins are required, where application where the logins are required, you give your username, you give your password and there is a possibility that they, it usually happens, the browser will ask you, you want to save this password or not. If you save this password, there is a possibility that, that the passwords will be saved and when the, pass, the next time you log in, you don't have to actually give your username and password. And more often than not, if you do not want to save this password, it also happens that the username will be displayed, but password will not be there, and you have to give a password. These are actually the permanent cookies. You can delete the cookies anytime, but as per the law, you have the cookies have to be deleted, removed after every six months. The other way actually deleting all these cookies is you go back to the browser, 
settings, the direct, direct diction, directory where the directory is displayed, all the websites are displayed where what, what you have accessed recently, you can clear the history through the history of the browser and everything will be cleared, everything will be cleaned up from your system. The next time you log in, no password, no username will be displayed for you and as soon as you delete the history from the browser. The third is actually the third party cookies, third party used by third parties research on the behavior and demographics. These are the third party cookies. These third party cookies are used by the third parties to determine the user behaviors, the logins, the research is done on the demographics and the geographies based on the user behavior and these are the called as the third party cookies. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video are what are devices and cookies, how cookies work and types of cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.